own a beautiful Sammy Ed, and now you're trying to figure out how to train your dog. If you're struggling to figure out how to do that, you are not alone. Yeti and I have some helpful tips for you up next on Yeti's Place. To find the best tips and tricks for owning a Sammy Ed, continue watching, click that subscribe button, and click the bell notification so you'll be notified of any new releases. Training a Sammy Ed can be much easier if you break it down into simple bite-sized chunks. And by bite-sized, I'm not just talking about his treats. I'm talking about the time that you spend training. Training should be kept short at a minimum of two to five minutes at the most five minutes, multiple times throughout the day because your dog will very easily become distracted. Come here, come here, sit, come here, sit. Yeti and I include plenty of small dog treats. You can use little bones like this, or even smaller. When I was first training Yeti, I microwaved some bacon strips, human bacon strips, about four to five minutes, because you wanna get them really super crispy and dry so that you can easily break them into really small bite-sized pieces. What dog doesn't love bacon? When you start training your Sammy Ed, the best thing to do is you want them to get used to you. You want them to be able to trust you because trust is always an important bond between you and your dog. Without trust, your dog isn't gonna do what you want them to do, even if you have special treats. So I would spend a few days with Yeti when he was a puppy, just hanging out with him, getting him used to me, and me getting used to him, and we would play a lot. Yeti and I would play fetch a lot. We would play tug of war using a toy like this toy. The reason bonding is important is because you want your dog to trust you. Because once your dog trusts you, they're gonna be able to listen much more easily. When you start training your dog, you're going to do it in multiple quick sessions throughout the day. It'll involve a lot of praise, and the second they do the right thing, give them praise, a lot of praise, by using a high-pitched, excited voice, like, good boy, Yeti, good boy, that's a good boy. A happy expression on your face, and you're gonna involve a lot of rubs, a lot of pats on their ear or their chin, and you're going to give them a treat. You can also use clickers with the treats and the excited praise. When you have a clicker, the moment they do the right thing, you're going to say, good boy, good boy, pet them, give them the treat, and at that same exact time, you're going to click. You can use clickers with treats and praise. Click the clicker the moment you see them doing the right thing. For example, if you're having them sit, the second they plop their butt down on the ground, you're going to click and then follow up with a good rub and a good boy, good boy, good boy. That was such a good boy. After a few weeks of multiple sessions, multiple short sessions every day, then you can switch to just using a clicker if that's your training method. Focus on one activity multiple times a day until they have that activity down pat. Now with any new puppy, especially Sammy Ed's, they're going to take a while to learn, so be patient with them. Once they learn one activity, then you can move on to the next. You wanna focus on sit, stay, lay down, and come. Those are the main ones to focus on. You wanna practice each one multiple times a day for a few minutes at a time. Give them lots of treats, lots of praise, and if you have a clicker, lots of clicks. Another big thing you wanna focus on when you're training a new puppy is potty training. All the Sammies that I've been around have taken a while. Be patient. When they play with you, that's a good thing because they're being distracted. But the second they stop being distracted, they'll focus in on going potty and they'll, they'll go potty really quickly. What you do when you're playing with them or petting them, feeding them, giving them any water to drink, the second they stop, when they're small enough, pick them up, bring them outside to go potty and give them lots of praise when they go potty in the right spot. Sammy's grow really fast, so it's not going to be too many weeks where you'll be able to comfortably pick them up and carry them outside. Cherish those moments because they grow so quickly. Practice the exact same congratulations methods that you practiced when you were training them. Come, sit, stay, lay down. Dogs need a master, which you have to be. If you're not the master, your dog is gonna take over that role. And that's what you don't want. You wanna be the master, the one your dog looks to for trust and for guidance. 
They'll want your dog to come to you if they're in trouble. For example, if you're walking your dog and the leash breaks, or if it slips out of your hand, your dog might run into the street. You want to be able to tell your dog, come, and have your dog come to you so your dog doesn't get hurt. You'll feel more secure that your dog trusts you and that your dog is going to do the right thing if they should happen to break free or if a visitor comes over and the visitor wants to say hi to your dog, you'll have your dog sit and say hi in a very controlled, really nice fashion rather than your dog getting excited, jumping up on the person and potentially hurting the person. You don't want that to happen. Once you learn these tricks, then it's time to focus on the fun tricks. And by fun, I mean doing whatever types of fun things that you might see on TV. Like for example, on those dog competition shows where the dog leaps off of a deck and chases after a ball that's been thrown into the water, you can train your dog how to do that. You could also train your dog agility. You could train your dog to roll over. You can train your dog to bring your slippers to you without chewing them to pieces. You can train your dog to bring you the remote. Is <laughs> some things not to train your dog to do? Sweetie, come here. Yeti, come here. Come here. Yeti. Yeti, come here. Yeti, come back here. Sweetie. I've temporarily lost my dog. Come here. Yeti, come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. I know that Sammies love ice cubes because they're nice and cold and they help keep your dog nice and cool. So don't train them to jump up and click that ice cube dispenser because they will be doing that all day long and you will have a puddle. Don't train them to open doors. You might be in the bathroom or you could be in another area of the house where you don't want to be disturbed and your dog opens up the door and comes in and says hello. It takes a Samiad a while to learn so please exhibit a lot of patience. A lot of practice time multiple times a day. You can even do refreshers once they have that skill down pat and involve a ball and fetch and plenty of playtime. That'll help wear off some excess energy, which puppies have a lot of. Stick with all of our training tips and you'll have a well-behaved dog in no time flat. For more ideas on training, click here and we'll bark at you next time.